Hey there folks, this is Sivo once again and I wanna welcome back everyone for another and next movie review in Arnold Schwarzenegger movie and uh, today I'm going to review the sixth day which I do have a Blu-ray um, yeah, this is it uh, came out in 17 November 2000 and what can I say, the sixth day in my opinion is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger forgotten and very decent, very solid decent movies, um, sci-fi action future films. After um, Arnold Schwarzenegger succeeded in making um, Total Recall, he tried to do another uh, sci-fi futuristic film which uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger said that he um, <clears throat> that this movie is set in 2015 because this movie was released in 2000 and uh, yeah Arnold Schwarzenegger tried again he was producer in this movie and I really like this film I really really like this film it's a really good movie this is the back but this is the blu-ray I don't have audio commentary I read that there was audio commentary special features but it isn't um, but this is uh, the disc, the sixth day, and of course I'll show you the cover, which is Arnold, as you can see Arnold's face, that's Arnold, this is on the back, um, yeah, just uh, fix it, um, But what can I say about this movie directed by Roger Spottiswood and um, written was by Cormac and Marianne uh, Wimbre, uh, Wimberley directed by Roger Spottiswood. Roger Spottiswood directed um, Tomorrow Never Dies which I reviewed the James Bond film and uh, he was offered the role to direct it, uh, um, The What Is Not Enough but he uh, decided, uh, but he rejected that movie, and he decided to to uh, direct this movie, which is smart idea, very awesome idea that he did. Um, but I really, really love this. Uh, I mean, really, I really like this film a lot. I came out in uh, actually, I saw, I had a pleasure to see this movie in movie theater when I was 17 years old. It was um, around January 2001 when this movie came uh, and bombed in my in my in, in uh, near my hometown in movie theater. I went to see it um, because of Arnold Schwarzenegger. This was actually the first uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film I saw in movie theater. The second one I saw was T3 Rise of the Machines. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines was actually the second Arnold Schwarzenegger film I saw in movie theater. Those are the only two I saw and I saw this one movie theater. I wish I would see um, uh, Collateral Damage instead but I saw this movie and I really like this film a lot. Um, the movie talks about uh, this ace pilot uh, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He plays Adam Gibson, um, ace pilot. He has everything, a great job. He has a um, he he has a great job. He has a um, he has a great wife. He has a great daughter. He's successful. He he's celebrating his birthday. Um, he has a completely beautiful life. Um, <clears throat> One day he meets the uh, he meets this guy Michael Drucker played by Tony Goldwyn um, from um, uh, which he's actually from um, um, from Replacement Technologies which he's a successful uh, businessman he's a uh, and in the, uh, successful industrialist um, a successful businessman. And uh, he's making, uh, he, he uh, has that um, control, um, uh, he, he has uh, some sort of research, researching facility in which they, uh, in which they actually uh, are cloning, um, they actually cloning pets. And, um, and accidentally, accidentally, Mike, Michael Drucker, uh, no, it wasn't accidentally, Michael Drucker uh, gets killed. Uh, when he uh, when he um, hired um, the Gibson and he and his um, flight company to uh, to take him uh, uh, in, in to ski in in the in the launch, he gets uh, he gets killed and uh, accidentally also gets killed. Um, Hank Morgan, played by Michael Rappaport, who 
took the role of Adam Gibson um, so that Adam could be with his family um, so that he wanna so they wouldn't celebrate his birthday the, themselves but um, unaware they they actually made a, um, unaware um, <coughs> replacement technologies made a huge mistake um, by um, by um, by um, by Dr. Griffin Weir, um, they went and they cloned the wrong man. They cloned him. You know, they they went and cloned him, and he did not. He wasn't aware that he was cloned. <clears throat> and when he woke up, he went. Um, uh, he went the the uh, to, he went to repeats to to take uh, to uh, get. Um, <clears throat> To get a dog because um, he, uh, their, their, their dog Oliver died. Um, the dog Oliver died. He was uh, killed. Um, he had a disease, um, but he couldn't find uh, anyone, so he couldn't find the, the, the correctly pet. So he changed his mind. He uh, he's, he bought for his daughter uh, a, a dolly instead. You know, he bought a dolly, a talking dolly. Um, a talking doll instead and he, when he goes home he sees uh, someone else man in his house and it's not him it's completely different person now now two people two uh, people came at him um <clears throat> now two people um came at him um i think was was um was uh, Wiley and Talia. I think they, the, the, those two people came at him and no, actually, I think it was uh, Talia and Michael Rocker who plays, um, who plays, uh, Robert, uh, uh, Robert Marshall. You know, they actually, uh, tell him that, that they cloned, uh, that he's a clone and he came first and now they try to kill, uh, now they, now they try to kill, uh, Adam. Adam escapes, you know, and he, <clears throat> While well, there's a chase with cars, uh, he goes and um, he steals his own car. He goes and break. He goes and um, and uh, break Talia's neck. He goes and break. Um, he goes and break Talia's neck. He also kills during the chase. He also grabs and kills uh, uh, Wiley. Wiley get, gets hit by a car twice. You know gets. Gets hit by a car, gets squashed by a car. Um, <laughs> it was awesome. Um, the, there was a waterfall, which <clears throat> which his car get, uh, falls under waterfall, and uh, because he tries to climb, you know, um, um, uh, um, Marshall tries to shoot him, but but uh, with uh, with their um, fush gun. Uh, um, uh, misses him and Adam jumps in the water but Adam uh, survives you know this is actually the the third time now that I saw um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the waterfalls jumping but he jumps in the waterfall uh, he survives he goes to uh, the police station he reports the, he goes and reports the, um, the to the police but it turns out that, that his disturbance the, the, that his uh, that the, they're looking for him, so they uh, so the cab goes and close him in the in the station, and Adam finds out they found him, so he breaks the the, the window and escapes. He meets Wiley and he goes and breaks his neck once again. He breaks. He he, he goes. He, uh, he's supposed to be dead. Stay dead this time, and he breaks his neck. Um, he uh, then of course he <clears throat> escapes. Um. He uh, of course, um, yeah, of course he goes and escapes. Um, um, yeah, that's the scene where he breaks the window. You know, he goes and breaks, he goes and breaks the the, the window of the police the police station, and he escapes. Um, he goes and escapes, and um, he of course jumps out. You know, um, he escapes, um, and. Um, yeah, so he goes to Hank Morgan. Hank sh just uh, just arrived home, and he tells him what's going on. They go they go to his home, and they found a clone. And um, and of course, um, Adam tries to kill uh, to shoot his own clone clone, but doesn't. Um, 
while his clone goes uh, in and have sex uh, with his uh, with his uh, wife uh, in the car. Um, he finds his daughter and puts uh, and, uh, and the real Adam f uh, uh, finds his daughter, puts his daughter in the in the bed and uh, <clears throat> and of course they now go home. You know there's also with uh, there also in the Hank's uh, home there's this with our girlfriend. Um, Jennifer Ga Garis plays virtual girlfriend, um, but uh, yeah, they, um, <clears throat> but this guy anti uh, anti activist against the clones shoots Hank and tells him he will, and then he tries to kill Adam, but Adam goes after him. Um, <clears throat> Adam goes in the parking garage. The uh, the guy uh, the guy goes and um, yeah, the guy. Uh, gets uh, uh, crashed with the car and finds out that that Hank was actually a clone. And in the in the parking garage, there's also another fight scenes, uh, another uh, car chases in which Marshall and Talia and Wiley are chasing. Um, they all they all go and uh, they're chasing. Um, they go and chasing Adam. And I love it, Adam. Uh, Adam goes and uses the the uh, the fush gun and cuts Talia's fingers, grabs her thumb, and he also shoots and, and cut uh, Marshall's leg. He completely cut Marshall uh, Marshall's leg. Really good CGI. Goes and cuts his uh, leg <laughs> down. Says that's just a new brand suit. And um, then, of course, he escapes, um, and he and now Adam um, goes and breaks into um, uh, he goes and breaks into replacement technologies that's owned by Michael Drucker, and um, and he uh, and he goes <clears throat> and he sneaks to find Doctor uh, um, Doctor uh, Griffin Wire, played by Robert Duvall, and uh, Griffin Duvall tells him that he's actually a clone. Because clone cannot, uh, uh, because the uh, cl uh, cl because he's a dead, uh, everything that he possesses is gone because it's not it's not legal because he he's a clone, and no one can find out, you know. And the reason they try to kill him because they're two Adams, and uh, if they find out, it's over. They go, he go to prison. He loses his company. Michael Drucker loses his company. He loses everything, you know. And he's the most wealthy man. Um, <clears throat> in the world and uh, and because Adams now became his threat he escapes so so in, in uh, he gets the disc and all the proof to nail uh, Michael Drucker once and for all and um, and now uh, Talia and uh, um, Terry Crews who also plays this is actually his first role who plays the bad guy um, um, Vincent um, uh, this is actually his first role as Vincent. Um, he uh, they they go and kidnap his wife and daughter, <clears throat> and because now Adam confront his his clone Adam and punches him and then te tells him uh, how to save uh, uh, the, their family, and that's what they do. Um, the real Adam, uh, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, is actually uh, the version. But then, uh, then um, when he goes in the helicopter, Talia and Marshall blows his helicopter to pieces. But <clears throat> while he goes and fights in, in the in the facility in order to get his uh, his daughter and wife, he gets caught. Then then he goes um, then he goes uh, he goes caught by Wiley, Michael Drucker, um, Talia, and Marshall. And um, they they put him in this machine, you know. They they go and they both put him in this machine, in which they can find his memory, you know. Which they both can find his memory, and that's how that's how it is. The the memory, you know. That's actually his memory. Um, yeah, that's actually that's actually his memory. Um, so they found the memory that he's on an airport because they want to find out where where did he put the. Uh, the disc, you know, about Michael Drucker's existence that he's a clone because it's forbidden to clone people. It's forbidden and uh, you can go in prison and jail for that. And they need the disc so they can erase the proof. And uh, what happened? Um, they, um, <clears throat> uh, when, 
when Marshall and um, when Marshall and of course um, when Marshall and Wiley uh, go to the uh, actually Marshall Talley go to the airport, they, uh, um, uh, Michael Tracker finds out that, 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 that this is only the diversion, the real Adam, you know, because this Adam we thought was actually a clone. A real, a real Adam, another, the second one, doppelganger, is actually in the, he's actually in the building, and he goes, you know, the real Adam, Gibson goes and shoots the, and shoots uh, Vincent in the head, saves his wife and daughter, puts those two guards and tells them uh, nicely um, that there's his girl, his uh, daughter, he, a little girl, he doesn't want that she sees, um, uh, violence and he tells him that if the, if if, if uh, they both could say have a nice flight which they do he he takes his family out of the building out of the uh, out of uh, um out of replacement technologies into safety and meantime uh, uh <clears throat> meantime he goes back and uh, puts the 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 electricity down and um Adam Gibson grabs, you know, grabs Michael Drucker, but finally shots him in the stomach, in the fucking belly, shots him, and, um, and of course, um, Gibson, now, you know, Gibson uh, jumps through the window and falls down, but gets hurt, but he escapes, then, then we see all those clones, all the bodies that are, the, that are under water storage, you know, all the, the clones, so the, all the bodies are clones, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger underwater swimming, he goes and swimming underwater and uh, he tries to hide but <clears throat> when Talia is also searching him, um, he, uh, she sees him, he go, jumps out of the water, grabs her for the leg and he puts her on, on, those, uh, on those wires, on those, um, the, um, the, those ropes and those, uh, those wires that are connected on the stomach and uh, she fires with the gun destroys the water and all the bodies the clones jumps and killed Michael Rocker they killed Marshall Michael Rocker and, and killed him and uh, meantime Gibson jokes out the light out of Talia and um, this time and, uh, I think that, that this time forever he jokes her out and uh, <clears throat> while uh, Drucker tries to do another clone but he gets, but uh, but because there was a blackout and because uh, um, the, the the clones in the water in the facility destroyed mostly uh, his clone was only 85 percent uh, uh, done, not not 100 percent, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, and the the, the clone is now uh, a completely bad effect, and the drucker is now dying, and um, <laughs> he shows him that Gibson shows up, and the guy says what. What? <laughs> and he tries to make a deal, and he finds out that he, the, 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 the experiment wasn't successful. <laughs> the experiment wasn't that much successful, but just fucked up, you know. Oh my god, it was just fucked up. And the, and I'm still surprised that the, 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 the Drucker still, still fighting for like his life, grabs and stabs. Gibson, Gibson both punches him, you know, and that time he said, <laughs> and, and, uh, and, the uh, and, uh, the, 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 now the, the second clone falls on the, on Michael Drucker's, uh, good clone and says, <laughs> and, uh, and Arnold says, when, <clears throat> when I said to go screw yourself, I did not mean the little lady to do the, to do that. <laughs> I love that scene, eh? Um, but, but now uh, um, Gibson runs away, puts a bomb on the facility. Also, he uses his gun, destroys all the research, all the the, the, the experiments that Drucker was doing, and he he escapes. Uh, he then escapes. Uh, the real Adam shows up and helps him out, you know. And um, now, yeah, and of course, uh, uh, the clone gets uh, wounded. Adam gets wounded. They put the bomb. Um, they they fly this helicopter, you know. This is just like it was in uh, the the Tomorrow Never Dies that he was with remote control. He was controlling car. This movie, Adam controls. Um, Adam goes and controls um, helicopter, and uh, yeah. So <clears throat> so uh, so while they're actually under fire, they they jump in the in, in the helicopter, and the whole facility explodes and blows to pieces. And now by the finale, um, um, uh, <clears throat> the clone Adam um, brings a card to his wife and daughter 
and then uh, he go then he says uh, goodbye but they don't know that that he does that they they go together um they actually go together and uh, yeah and that's it and uh, then we see all what happened the flashbacks what all happened and we see a helicopter twice and the movie the movie then of course ends um First off, the, the music score was done by Trevor Rabin. Trevor Rabin did a music score for Cliffhanger and I really like his music score. Directed by Roger Spottiswoode. Roger Spottiswoode did a good job directing this film. Um, now to the cast, Arnold Schwarzenegger did a good, a good performance. Actually, really good, decent performance. Um, but uh, to me, the most that steals the movie is actually Sarah Winter, Astalia, Ellsworth. She's great, you know. Um, Astalia, she's great. I really enjoyed the actor. She was, um, um, <clears throat> Sarah Winter, she was in 24 in season 2. And she had one scene in season 3, but she was most in season 2. And it's really bad that the actress is not on TV anymore. But um, uh, but to me, Sarah Winter steals the show. She's did, she did a great job. Astalia Ellsworth, um, uh, 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 Robert Duval is in this movie as Doctor Griffin Weir gets uh, uh, he gets killed by Drucker because he quit and he doesn't wanna do anymore because his uh, wife died. He doesn't wanna do job anymore. Um, Tyler and Reed plays Clara Gibson. Um, <clears throat> Wendy Crewson plays Natalie Gibson, wife of Adam Gibson. Um, Rod Ro Rodney Rowland plays uh, P. Valley. Um, Michael Rocker plays uh, Robert Marshall. And Tony Goldwyn plays Michael Drucker, the, the main villain. Michael Dr I mean, uh, Tony Goldwyn, he was in Cavs as a good guy in that movie. In this movie, he's a bad guy and he still did, uh, he did a good job. Michael Rocker from Cliffhanger is in this movie. And from Repli um, Replicant, he's in this movie. And Michael Rocker as a bad guy, Smash did a great job. I enjoy him on this movie. Sarah Winter, best performance. She stole the role. I really miss the actress. I love her as Kate Warner in 24 season 2. Um, yeah, the cast did a great job. Um, the budget for this movie was 82 82 million dollars worldwide was 96 million dollars so that wasn't bad uh, i know it's american movie but it was actually or shot um it was actually shot the movie was actually shot um in vancouver british columbia in toronto ontario canada it was mostly shot in canada all the scenes um <clears throat> um uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger got, received salary of 25 million dollars um, the film opened uh, uh, for number four in North America and made 13 million dollars in opening. Um, also, Terry Crews uh, plays one of the bad guys. As Vince said, this is actually his first role. The um, Terry Crews and Anna Schwarzenegger were reunited uh, um, 12 years later in The Expendables 2. Um, makeup effects uh, were also Ale Alex Gillis and uh, Tom Woodruff Jr. It, uh, the action sequences are still good and CGI effects are still good. Uh, they still work CGI effects. Roger Spots what they did a good job. CGI effects did a good job. But uh, it shows how how much uh, this movie cost. It cost $82 million for CGI effects. CGI effects were very expensive. And yes, like I said, I, it, I had a pleasure to see this movie in movie theater in back in 2001 in uh, January because this movie was released 7th in November 2000. I saw VHS. I don't remember if I borrowed VHS, but I saw the movie on in movie theater back in 2001 that time. So that was pretty awesome. But yeah, the sixth day. There you go. That's my movie review on on Arnold Schwarzenegger's 2000 um, science fiction futuristic film. Arnold said that was this movie was filmed in uh, the, the movie was set in 2015. It's a futuristic film. After he was successful, Total Recall, he tried to do this movie. Um, it wasn't that much successful. God's, uh, I think God's the score on IMDb 5.8, and people doesn't talk that much about the film. I understand, but um, I like the film. I really like the film. 
It's a decent, it's a solid, decent, and a good movie in my opinion. It's a solid, decent, good movie. I really enjoy this film. Uh, yeah, so that's my review on the sixth day, 2000. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next movie review. I'm out. Peace.